Hey composers, it's Josh. Today I want to go over how to write music that sounds magical. I initially got the idea of writing a magical cue after winning the Randy's Celeste by Cinesamples, uh, which was done through a global co composers network competition. Uh, I got second place on it. And so after winning the prize, I was playing around and immediately um, was inspired to write something that sounded kind of like Harry Potter or Nightmare Before Christmas. And um, this is the music that I've written. So I want to go over my approach with you today and then play you the full track, of course. So first off, um, I use a lot of different sounds um, the the sounds that uh, sound choices I've used was the full orchestra and then on top of that the featuring the Randy's Celeste harpsichord and even women's choir um, I use some of the string effects such as uh, tremolo and trills to really get this uh, nice effect so for instance here's the tremolos Now, I'm using tremolos in an um, unconventional manner, so it, with these type of patches, you can actually um, use them as string runs just because they have a lot of energy behind it, so they work really well for things like this. Um, let me play you a context. <laughs> So that's uh, one thing I use a lot of. Um, tr uh, tr trills too are really popular, so you kind of heard trills right here. Okay. And trills in the woodwinds, of course, um, such as in the beginning. All right. Um, so those are some things that I used. And then on top of trills and tremolos, there are a lot of trade-offs that are happening. So on trade-offs, um, what I mean by that is from each bar um, one voice will lead to another voice and they combine so it's not just one instrument but um, several instruments in, in combination so here's an example uh, what I mean by that <laughs> So without further ado, here is the track called Spooky Magical Fun. Uh, like always, thank you for watching. Um, and if you want to watch more of these videos, please subscribe. And I will see you next time.